and welcome to Tuesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and the return of the great Zetamath to the channel and a brand new Sudoku uh, called Reef uh, to have a try of. Now, um, we had an email yesterday from Zetamath uh, alerting us to the fact that this puzzle existed. I will tell you that one of our testers had already sent it through Zetamath and said that they had tried it in their spare time and that it was magnificent. Um, so they recommended we tried it as well. Um, their, their email came with a warning though. It, I mean, I've got about, I don't know, I was going to say 20, but it's more than that. Um, my to-do list of very hard puzzles is astronomically long. And the tester said that this, you know, that this basically falls into that category. It's a very difficult puzzle, but very brilliant. And I checked it out on Logic Masters Germany before I turned on the webcam. It does indeed have a 100% approval rating uh, and five stars out of five for difficulty. So this is going to be testing and it seems to involve uh, coral logic, um, which uh, I, I mean, I have done coral puzzles before, uh, but not for a very long time. But anyway, this is what we're gonna have a go at today. I think I think Zetamath has been very busy, actually. Uh, he and Tristan have moved house recently. I'm not sure where to, um, but Tristan, of course, is, is one of our famous moderators when we occasionally stream games. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they've obviously, they've obviously had a lot of life events recently. And I hope, I hope Zetamath and Tristan, all is going well in your new home. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, actually, speaking of things going well and having good days, I was tickled pink by something that got recommended to me on Twitter the other day that I thought you might be interested in. Um, if you are, well, whether you're from the UK or not, if you are a music fan, you will be aware that Glastonbury happened this last weekend. Um, the, the great music festival. Uh, culminating on Sunday night with the Pyramid Stage performance, I think maybe the final live performance of Elton John, um, and that the scenes from 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 that that concert are unbelievable. The number of people, I mean, it's astronomically large number of people. It must have been I, I don't know two hundred and fifty thousand people maybe at that concert. But Twitter recommended this diary entry. <laughs> from Elton John in 1973 and so speaking of you know having a good time woke up watched grandstand wrote candle in the wind went to London bought Rolls Royce Ringo Starr came for dinner <laughs> imagine if you could write that in your diary that wouldn't be bad uh, for those of you who aren't from uh, who aren't from the UK, you may not know that Grandstand is, or used to be anyway, uh, a great sporting show on Saturday afternoons in the UK where, you know, they would sort of, uh, it, was, it was really in those days when we had no channels, we only had three channels uh, back in the day, you know, it was the only place you watched sport. Um, and yeah, so it was, it was very popular, uh, but I'm guessing that this was a Saturday. And uh, yeah, Elton had a good day that day. Um, hopefully we're going to have a good day solving Zeta Math today. Uh, do I have anything else to tell you about before we um, we get cracking? Just one birthday to do today. We had a lovely email from Mary um, in New Jersey about her son Michael's birthday in Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, Michael has turned 41 today and your mum, Michael, described you as an extraordinary son, husband and father. Clearly an exceptionally bright man as well. Um, and she's very grateful to you uh, for introducing her to Cracking the Cryptic, which I think happened during during lockdown, as it did for so many people. And Michael, she wrote that you brought her along in terms of her Cracking the Cryptic experience uh, like a frightened bird, which I thought was a rather... A rather lovely expression. So you sort of you sort of tempted her in with uh, some tasty solves, and then then the gas puzzles before the full blown the full blown monsters made their appearance. Um, and she promises you some chocolate cake when she sees you at the weekend with the correct ratio of icing to cake, one to one, of course. So Mary, thank you very much for your email. Um, I was delighted by it. And Michael, we hope that you have an absolutely brilliant birthday today. Now, let's turn our attention to Reef and see what the great Zeta Math has in store for us. These are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Shades themselves in the grid. Oh, 
that's a, that's a strange sentence, it just ends, shade some cells in the grid. Those cells are part of the coral. The rest of the cells are water. Okay, so we have to divide the grid into coral and water cells. All coral cells are orthogonally connected. Okay, what does orthogonally connected, some of you may wonder about. Um, these two cells are not orthogonally connected because although they do touch one another, they touch one another just at a single point. Orthogonally connected means shares an edge. So to make these orange cells orthogonally connected, we would, we could add this one. Now these are orthogonally connected. So all the coral cells need to be orthogonally connected. All bodies of water connect to the edge of the grid. Right, so there's going to be some water in the grid. And say we discovered these cells were water, we'd have to connect somehow the water to the edge somewhere. Um, no 2x2 two two is entirely water or entirely coral. Okay, we see that rule sometimes. Or maybe in yin-yang, I think we see that rule. So we're not allowed to have a 2x2 two two of water or a 2x2 two two of coral. I might, I might actually use um, blue and uh, orange today because I know that is the most colorblind friendly option that we have from our palette. Um, okay. Digits do not repeat within cages. I noticed none of these cages have any totals. Ah, okay. And the sum of the coral cells within each cage must equal the sum of the water cells within that cage. Okay, so each cage, what we're basically being told there is that each cage has to have some coral and some water because if it was entirely one colour, it's obviously impossible for that cage to contain enough coral cells to equal the value of the water cells in it. The digit in a circle gives the number of cells within its cage that match its colour, coral or water. The total includes itself. So let's experiment with this one and see if we can understand what this one might be. So this is a six cell cage. The number of cells of its colour. So let's assume this is water for a moment. So I can see it. Well, obviously it could be a three perhaps, couldn't it? We could have three of this. We could have three water cells and the sum of these three cells would equal the sum of the, the coral cells. But I think that might be able to be four. I don't think it can be five. It can be four, I think. If we were to do something like that, then we'd be saying those four add up to those two. And if those were maxed out at an eight and a nine, that would be 17. And it looks very possible that these could add to 17 to me. So this could be four. I don't think it could be five because obviously the triangular number for five is 15. And I can't write 15 into this square or any higher number indeed. So this could be... Yeah, okay, and, and then the inverse must be true, mustn't it? So it must be possible, because we worked out this could be a 4, it must also be able to be a 2. So actually what we could probably do to start this puzzle is write 2, 3 or 4 into that circle, but we'll do that in a moment. Do have a go at this. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. There we go. <laughs> um, now that must be true for any six cell cage have we got any others uh, yes I do that must be two three or four um, yeah that's another that's another one that could be two three or four that oh that one's five cells so we do the maths on five cells how's that going to work then so that could be well it, it can't be a one Obviously, it can't be a five. But if it was a, a one or a four, I don't think that works either, does it? Because we'd be saying, if, if, we're, if we're saying it's a one, uh, well, one obviously wouldn't work, but let's try four. We'd be saying essentially there are four cells in this cage that add up to the other, the other number. And the triangular number for four is 10, one plus two plus three plus four. So that's this never going to work. So that's got to be two or three, I think. Yeah, and two and three are sort of the inverse of each other, aren't they? Because if we're saying this is two, we're saying two cells, and there would be three cells that would be the opposite colour. So two and three are sort of the same. Right. Yes, okay. You can never put one into a circle. 
for obvious reasons, because it's counting the number of cells in the cage, including itself. So it would be, if, if you do put one in a circle, you're saying the other three cells, which that's in a group all of its own, these three squares have to add up to one. That's clearly nonsense. So the rest of these are four cell cages. I want to say these have to be twos or threes. It could, it could be threes. Yeah, they could be threes. I think they are twos or threes. The way I think they could be threes, imagine that was a three. Then we'd be saying three digits add up to this number. Actually, it's, actually it's, it's, it is interesting in this box, because if that is three, that's two, and vice versa. And that does put more pressure, actually. Um, yeah, ignore, ignore that circle for a minute. But if that's three then that could simply be a one, two, ignoring this, that could be a one, two, three adding up to six, couldn't it? Yeah, if that's three, you can't make the total, the three cells add up to seven because seven would be one, two, four. Oh yeah, hang on. I'm actually I'm actually going to think about this because one of these has to be three. And uh, that, sorry, and the reason I am interested in that is that whichever one of these is three has a two in the other position, which takes two out of the options for the three sum, the the, the sum of three in this case. So if it was this way round, then this cage has three digits which are the same colour and include a three in their sum, but do not include a two. So they would have to include a one because two, three, four is no, two, three, four adding up to nine is no longer an option. So if we were in this paradigm, there would be a one in one of these squares and the other digit would be a four or a five. So the total for this would be an eight or a nine. don't think I don't think we can sorry I'm just mulling that over I'm just letting that percolate um, through the, the coffee filter that is my brain um, one four one, three, four, eight. Ah. Maybe. Okay. So I think I'm going to delete this because I don't know which order these go in. But there are several things that I think we can say here that are, that are mildly interesting. So I think I'm going to stay in this box. Uh, in fact, I'm, I, no, I'm not going to stay. I, I might stay in this box. I, I've got obsessed with this box because I was doing it as an example and I could see this 2-3 thing going on. I'm just going, to, I'm just going to zoom out a bit and take another stare at this because I haven't really thought about whether there's low-hanging fruit here that is more obvious given five in the grid that's very generous Satama thank you <laughs> um, all right no I'm going to come back to this box um, because I think we can do some some parity here can't we well there's two things I think are interesting firstly my, f my sense is that this digit has to be high and I do know this digit has to be odd and I know it has to be odd because of the secret 
Now the secret is something I only tell my favourite people, but if you're watching this video 14 minutes in, you are definitely one of my favourite people. There are very few people in real life who would spend this long in my company um, and not be deeply offended um, or bored or asleep. Um, so thank you very much um, for, for spending 15 minutes with me. The, um, the secret uh, is, is of course that any complete row, any complete column, and any complete 3x3 three three box of a Sudoku, because of the rules of Sudoku, contains the digits 1 to 9 once each. If you add up the digits 1 to 9, you get 45. 45 is an odd number, so this adds up to an odd number. But the nature of each of these cages is that they add up to even numbers, don't they? Because they contain an equal, equal total of coral and water cells in them. So we could, if, if the coral total was x, the water total would be x, which means the sum of the cage is always 2x, which is even. So if, if this is even and this is even, together these are even, we need to get the whole box to add up to an odd number, so that is odd. Um, that is true. So it's 1, 5, 7 or 9. It's not 3, which, which has to be in one of those squares. But, but, when I've been thinking about the, the way that these cages work. This is quite difficult to make. It's quite difficult to make these totals huge, by which I mean, um, let's make this one the three. What is the absolute maximum value of those four squares now? Well, that would be the maximum value would be if the, if the three digits were adding up to nine, wouldn't it? And that would make this, this, these four cells add up to 18 overall. But that, if, if we were in that world, two of the digits in this two by two have to add up, you know, have to add up to something, and then the other two digits are going to add up to something. So the maximum we could partner the two with, the absolute maximum, would be a nine. So if we make this a nine, these two squares add up to 11 and they can't add up to more than it. Well, in fact, and I've chosen nine here and I had nine in this one as well, which I obviously can't do. So the maximum values here are going to be to partner up two with nine or two with eight and three with eight or nine sorry not three with eight or nine but the total here to be eight or nine which means these cells or these two cages together oh now see now i've broken the world now i'm being now i'm being too i know because the two comes back in yes okay i was i was going how can this work with eight and nine but of course it doesn't work it doesn't need to work because the two is partnering the nine so it's not it's not right to think of this as eight and nine being the sum the sums we're going to I'm, I'm confusing i'm sure i'm confusing you all because i was confused in my brain what i was thinking about but but basically the absolute maximum that we can make the big the total digits that we're looking at in these would be to partner this two with eight or nine here and to make the three digits here add up to eight or nine and if we do that we can see that the total of the high digits is eight plus nine plus two which is 19 19 times two is 38 that is the absolute most we can go to so this has to be at least a seven now now, can it be now if if this was nine on the other hand, then I'm depriving I'm depriving these cages of having nine in them, which would mean the maximum totals that we could go to would be seven plus eight plus two. Uh, which is uh, 17 times 2, which is 34, which is not enough because that cannot partner 9 and get us to a higher and get us to 45. So it doesn't work. It only works with 7. That is weird. That is absolutely weird. And 
I still don't know which of these is two or three, but I do now know, weirdly, I do know that whichever one is three, I know it has a one in it, and I know it adds up to eight or nine, and whichever one is two, the two will partner with an eight or a nine, Hmm, I don't think I... Two will partner with eight or nine. No, it's not, it's not going to do it, is it? I can't... I don't think I can, I can... I don't think I know how to do this. So I get a seven here. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, how could that be a three? No, 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 that can't be a three. I think we thought about this here. Um, if this is a three, I've got to pick up three digits in here that add up to the other digit. So if this is a three, are we going to include the seven in the total of the three digits? Well, obviously not, because then the single digit would have to add up to at least 11, three plus seven plus one, and we can't put 11 in. So the three has to sit in a, in, a, in a total which would add up to seven, but it can't do that because the only way of making seven in three digits is one, two, four. This is very, very interesting. So that's got to be two. And that does things. That, oh, <laughs> that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight, losing its religion. Um, this is great. We've actually got a start here. Um, three is in one of these three cells by Sudoku. Two is in one of those cells by Sudoku. Ah. Ah. Okay. I... I overlooked a possibility, didn't I? When I when I put two, yeah, okay, I didn't quite understand this. When when I put two in these two circles, and indeed this circle, I was thinking of two and four as being the, having the same quality because it's dividing the six cell cage into a two a two piece and a four piece, and that's sort of true, except. That the two if the two piece is circled it breaks because what on earth do i partner the two with the most i could partner it with would be a nine and that would require the other four digits to add up to 11 at most without using a two well you can't do that uh one three four five adds to 13. um so i can't i can't keep it down to 11. so in fact well, this is huge, because that means this is a 4, I think. It means neither of these squares can be a 2. Can I put 4? Oh, no, I can. I absolutely can put 4 in here. I was wondering suddenly whether I couldn't do that. Um... I tell you, I've not even thought about the coral logic yet. What? Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This one has got two in it. Yes. Okay, so this 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 cage is three one two three one two adding up to six, isn't it? And we can see that because we have to add three digits in this cage together, and we're not allowed to use four. So if we pick the minimum digits we could, we could do three, one and two. But if we'd missed out the one, if we decide okay we're not going to have a one then 
then we would have 3, 2 and 5 as the next lowest digit. And 3, 2 and 5 add up to 10, which is not a valid Sudoku digit. So the only way of making this work is 3, 1, 2 and 6. And we know that the 2 is in this row. And now, am I going to go full good lift? I think I am going to go full good lift here because this puzzle is confusing me enough that it deserves it. So that square is not 7. So 7, oh, 7 goes here by Sudoku. Because 7, um, seven in this box is in one of these three squares. So 7 can't go there. So, so seven, well, let's do this long way, the long way. Seven is in one of these three squares. That seven rules seven out of this one, it would repeat in its cage. This seven rules seven out of that one, it would repeat in its cage. So now seven is here. And three is thrust into just one of two positions. this one this one's got loads of high digits in it oh and no two surely this one needs a one in it mm, is that true if there was no one in this cage and no two in it then the other digits the other six digits i want to say would add up to 33 Three is that wrong? Three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty one and twelve is thirty three. Well, thirty ah. They couldn't add up to 33, could they? They must add up to an even number. So they'd have to then add up to 34. So it would have to be an eight. Yeah, but that might work. Oh, hang on, I'm confusing myself now. So if we had eight and nine, And then what would we need along with that? We'd have to have three, three, four, five, and six. But hang on, there is a seven in the case. Oh, this is confusing me, sorry. Three, four. No, three, four, five, six is 18. Oh yeah, oh no, hang on, that doesn't work. I can't make this work. I'm struggling, to, uh, why, why am I struggling to understand this? Why am I being slow? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question on my mind now. Why can't I see how that can work? I feel this wants to have a one in it. If it doesn't have one in it, And it was three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. That would add up to 33, which is not allowed. So I could take the eight out and put a nine in. Oh, and then, but then that, then that gets me to 34, which is not valid because I've taken the eight out and put the nine in. And, I, and, I, and once I halve 34, I need an 8 and a 9. Oh, uh, this is why it's getting confusing. Okay. So maybe you can't do it. Maybe you can't do it, have it, make it work without a 1. If you try and do it without a 1, you've got to be adding to 34. That's absolutely forced because you need an even total which means that the two cell total must be an eight and a nine, which means the four cell total 
must include one odd number and that odd number is going to be seven so you've got to go seven four how can you do this you need no it's not it's just not going to work is it i'm trying i'm trying to think about it in terms of parity um, maybe that's not the sensible thing to do 34 you've used eight there aren't enough the parity is just it just doesn't work it just doesn't work i know that's just an assertion it's not really um it's not really useful is it you, but you but let's do this slowly if if you don't have one in here you have to have eight and nine so eight and nine would come out of these squares um and now three five seven i mean this is just far too many isn't it it just doesn't it just doesn't add up you can't make it add up when you can't put two in there either i'm I, i'm just grappling with how to demonstrate this in a sort of in an elegant way and i'm failing miserably to do it um 17 can't put so you could you could put three in it because you could have the three over here you could have the three exactly there actually so you could so we could have three in it so we could have three four five seven is the minimum because we know there is a seven in it and three four five seven is 19 um, it just doesn't it, you just can't make it work without a one i'm not even sure <laughs> if this ludicrous amount of effort i've put into proving there's a one in this cage is in any way valuable but i think there is a one in one of those which would be useful if it was here um ah all right well i d i can't prove it's there but i can do i can do the next best thing because this three clue needed a one in it didn't it because if that three clue doesn't have a one in it then the three digits that we're adding together would be a minimum of three four five which is already 12. so there's a one in one of those squares and therefore the one therefore if you like if we think about row two and three together there has to be exactly two ones in row two and three well, I know there's a one in this domino and I know there's a one in that triomino. So there are no more ones after that. So these are not ones. So this is a two six pair, which means this is a one. Um, no, okay. <laughs> I thought that would be good. Isn't. Um, what about... Can I put six in here? I don't think I... I think when I was thinking about the three options, I thought it was either going to be one, three, four adding up to eight or one, three, five adding up to nine. It never included a six. So six goes here in this box. Now, now, what does the two partner with here? There is a question. The two doesn't partner with the six, does it? Because then if the two and the six were the same, they would add up to eight, which would mean the other domino would have to add up to eight and it couldn't be three, five, one, seven or two, six. So it couldn't. So the two is not a partner of the six. In fact, we know that the two is the partner of, the, of an eight or a nine from the logic we did before. So either, oh, I see. So either, either I partner the six with a four or a five. I can't partner the six with a four. So I have to partner the six with a five because I know the overall total, the, the two is going with an eight or a nine. So if the two went with an eight, the six would have to go with a four. So the two goes with a nine uh, and the six goes with a five. And therefore, right, so therefore this is now one, one, three, four, adding up to eight. <laughs> this is mad. Uh, this is not four.
Come on. I'm sure this is important. Um, oh, Bobbin's, Bobbin's face. What's this doing then? So in the top row, we need four, four, five, eight, nine. I'm, I'm going to put it in. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm finding it quite hard to juggle these options. Um, do I know what this is now? What Does this partner with... Oh, it's, absolutely, it could partner with the seven, couldn't it? The two and the seven, and then these two would add up to nine, would be a very natural way to go. Uh, what about that? Or oh, Actually, what about both of these digits? One, Yeah, we've only got one, three, and eight left to put in. There's no parity gig here, is there? Let me just think about that. Um, so if we think about the nature of one of these cages, overall it adds up to an even number. So it must have an, it must have an even number of odd digits in it, mustn't it? That's absolutely forced. So there must be an odd digit in one of these two squares. Yeah, that's the world's most stupid deduction. Okay, that's not clever. Um, okay. Um, what else can we do here? And how are we ever going to get down into the rest of this grid? It, it seems like all the circles are crammed into the top of the grid. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. OK, I've missed something very obvious here. Oh, bobbins, yes, OK. Uh, right. Every cage in this puzzle sums to an even number. But what do the first three rows sum to? Well, they sum to an odd number. They sum to three lots of 45, which is 135, which is odd. Now, this little cell is the only cell sticking out of the top three rows. So, um, so look, hopefully this is fairly obvious, but those those squares are all in cages, complete cages, completely contained within the top three rows. So those green squares add up to an even number. They're all in cages. But we know the top three rows overall, all, all of these rows, add up to an odd number, 135. So those squares add up to an odd number. But we know this cage adds up to an even number because it's a cage. So how are we going to make that work? That's going to be a three. Bother. That's been, I think, probably available from the, the lit in fact that has literally been available where well, you'd, you'd had to have, have, have realized it couldn't have been a two because of the logic I overlooked at the start but once you did that you could have done that right at the start it's probably the first digit we were meant to put in just didn't see it oh look and now it gets me a two here oh no so two is down here So what what is going on in this cage then? This cage has got a lot of high numbers in it as again, hasn't it? I don't know. I've got a feeling what we're meant to do. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind about what we're meant to do. I'm going to look at this digit. That can't be a 1, I don't think. Because if it's a 1, um, what are we going to partner it with? I don't think there's any good choice. If we partner it with the 7, these two squares would have to be a 2 and a 6, and that doesn't seem to be able to be a 6. And if we partner it with these two digits, oh, 1, 8 does work. 1, 8, add it. Oh, I didn't see it. Botheration. 1, 8 can add up to 9. Oh, no. All right. That can be a 1. 
Um. Oh, it could be the Coralie. It could be the Coralie logic. What was the Coralie logic about? We had to make everything connected. Coralie logic. What is that going to do for us? Do we know? Oh, okay. Here. We know this one partners with the nine, don't we? Which is either there or there. Can you? Oh, you can't have checkerboard because the, 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 the water has to get to the edge. Right. Okay. Another point that I, I totally didn't really think about until I'm now starting to think about it is the structure of how we're going to divide this grid up. So it's a little bit like yin yang in the sense that um, let's let's divide this up let's have these let's have that pattern is this is this a permissible pattern in this puzzle can you have a checkerboard in a two by two I think the answer is no I think the answer is no and let me explain why because it's not easy to understand this um, remember that we have to connect orthogonally the land to each other so this is going to have to we're going to have to come along some path to connect these two together. We, we don't know whether we're going around the top bit or around the bottom bit, but somehow or other, these will have to connect. Now, can you see, it doesn't matter what route we take to achieve that. The problem is for this water, it can't get to the edge anymore because it will have been ringed. And if we'd gone the other way round in connecting the oranges up, if we'd gone across the top to do it, it does, again, it doesn't matter what, what path we go on, how long a route we take. Let's go a very long route. This one can't get to the edge because it's encircled by land. So actually, actually, we must avoid checkerboards. Now that means that this square, now the thing is I don't know whether this square is land or water, but I do know because it's got to connect with one of these two squares, it can't be that one because that would create an immediate checkerboard. So I know that those two are the same and I know that these two are the same. Um, and I tell you what, if we did know this was land, this would have to get out. If this is, if this is water, it's already touched the edge, so it doesn't have to also take this square. But if this is land, in order to connect the land in the rest of the grid, that would be land. OK, so we're going to have to think again, aren't we? How are we going to do this? Well, what about that one? That's got three three cells the same as this one that's got four cells that are the same hmm okay um don't know <laughs> um, could we argue I don't know I don't know I've got I've got nothing now uh, my brain is not telling me anything about how to resolve all this if I knew those were the same color no, then it still depends on what these are. Um, oh, okay, here's another little point. This little pyramid, this pyramid stage here has to, um, has to add to an even number. But we know from the secret, the overall box adds to an odd number. So these three digits sum to an odd number. But this cage overall sums to an even number. So 
Because the 2 won't change the parity of the odd numbers this must add up to, we're at odd once we add the 2 in. So that has to be odd to make the parity work, and it's not 3. So that's 1, 5, 7 or 9, which is unfortunately useless. That's not 5 by the power of the given digit, um, which is quite exciting. Okay. Three. Oh, th right. Three in this box. We've only got two positions. Can we put three here? I haven't thought about that. Yes, we can. If that's three, that's got to be eight. I think. I think that's right. Yeah, because we couldn't. We can't partner that with six here. So if this is three. It partners with the 7, and this would be a 2-8 pair. Um, hmm, I don't understand how I'm meant to do this, I have to say. Maybe I can I get rid of 4 from that square then? It might, it might be just a case of whittling. We might just have to whittle down options. Uh, if this is 4, it can't partner with the 7 because we can't make these add up to 11. Uh, and we can't put 5 here. That's just not 4, is it? Okay, so that's a tiny deduction which tells us 4 is in this cage. Is that helpful? I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Um, two, three, four. That digit is not now, it's not one, because I believe there's a one in that cage. It's not two or three, it's not four, which is up there. Now, is it five? Possibly. Five, six, eight or nine, I want to say. Golly, it's really quite restricted then. So do we have to be a bit careful? No, because it's because this is a three. We're dividing this into a three and a three, aren't we? So it's not like where we have the four, when we have the two four division, where there's a lot of a lot of play in that. This being three, I don't think is going to is going to be too important. So the minimum we could put in here would be four, five, six and 8 as the other digits. 4, 5, 6 and 8. So we'd have 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8. Which, is, which doesn't add up to the right number of... Oh, is it, it's not parity, is it? I've got to make sure this cage has an even number of odd digits. At the moment it's got... it's got a... it's fine. Oh, hang on. If I put five, oh, if I put five in, it would have to have nine in. That's what we're learning. But if it didn't have five or nine in, all of these digits would have to be even, and they can't all be even. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that it? That's real. Oh, no, look, that's going to make this an eight. Oh, that's beautiful. If, th if that's true, that's absolutely beautiful. So let, let me, I'm going to go through that logic again because I'm not sure I trust it. What I'm thinking is in order to make any of these cages add up to an even number, that cage must have an even number of odd digits in it. This one has just three and seven in it so far. So it has an even number of odd digits at this point. Now, if none, so the only options now are that two, two, two of the other four cells are odd, because they can't all four be odd, there are not six odd digits in Sudoku. So we could have two more odd digits, which I think looking at the options there would have to be nine and five, because one can't go in the cage. So that's, well, that's one possibility. 
The other possibility is there's no more odd digits, but then these four digits would have to include a 2, because they must be all the even digits, 2, 4, 6 and 8, and they definitely don't include a 2. So this tells us that there are five and an, there are five and nine in those four squares. Now that square sees all of this quadruple. So that cannot be um, a five or a nine. So that's eight, which gives me a one three pair, which makes this eight, which makes this a one four pair, which makes this. Okay, which makes this not. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we knew. Yeah, this is great, because I knew there was a 1 in this cage from all that nonsense I did earlier. So that's 1, that's 3. How does this cage work then? So this cage works by... Oh, it's 10. Yeah, if we if we add up the whole thing, it adds up to 20. So we know that each, each parcel of 2 is adding up to 10. So these two are the same colour, and these two are the same colour. Now, this is tricky now, because we're getting into a world of nonsense, aren't we? where we sort of, I, I don't know how to relate purple and yellow to green and red. I don't think I do anyway. But, right, now we can take 8 out of here. So the total for this cage now, well, this 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 has got 4, 5, 9, so that's got to be a 6 by Sudoku. Um, the total for this cage is 13 and 18. Oh, that doesn't add up. No, 16 and 18, that's better. 16 and 18 does add up because that's 34. So each each slice of 3 here adds up to 17. So the 9 has to go with two more digits. Yeah, so the 9 needs to go with two more digits that add up to 8. And there's only one way of doing that. Uh, with 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 the options available because one seven and two six don't exist as a package in this so the nine has to go with three and five so the six and the seven are the same color <laughs> and they go with a four in one of those two positions these are the same color I mean I'm going I'm going getting into absolutely mad lands here can't quite visualize it I, I i'm sure there's a way i mean we could do it by bifurcation but i'm not i won't go down that route i i imagine there's a way of working out which one of these is a four it feels more difficult for that pattern to exist in the puzzle doesn't it that's what just just my sense these two would then be the same we have to avoid a checkerboard not sure uh, all right so what's going on then in this square is a five or a nine i think by sudoku that square is not a one anymore uh, because of the one here oh in this one in this cage the three one four are all the same color I'm struggling to see. I'm going to take out the colouring of this one. I find it very difficult to, to view on top of this one. These are all, these three are all the same colour. If it had been those four, we would have been away because we could have avoided a two by two. Um, now, is there a problem with those being yellow? If these are yellow, that makes this water. If these are purple, we don't know. I know these are the same. Um, okay, mm, stuck. Do we know what the sum is of this one? I think we do know that, don't we? We've got 10 to 34. We've got 34 again. Oh, right, so this has got an 8, 9 pair in it that are the same, same colour. So the 4 and the 1 are the same colour. Oh, golly, this is getting very confusing. Yeah, the 4 and the 1 are the same colour from this cage. The 7 and the 6 are the same colour from this cage. The, which way around was this one? The 3 and the 7 were the same colour. Uh, 
Okay, may, actually, maybe I can do this. Maybe I take out that colouring. Maybe that's better. I'm going to take that colouring out. And note, yeah, there we go. We have to avoid a checkerboard here. That's great. This is the way to do this. It wasn't to start here, it was to start here. Because I know the 3 and the 7 are of a different colour to the 8, this can't be yellow, can it? So that's got to be purple, but we know that within this cage, these are all now all yellow. Oh, this is beautiful now, because now, remember that the way the striping worked in the 2x2, two two, if this, um, the 6 goes, goes, these two are the same colour, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, in fact, I actually know the order. Have I known this for ages? I think I have. Yeah, that's got to be like that because if, if it, we said that we had to avoid a checkerboard here, which if this was a nine, that would be automatically a checkerboard. So, so yeah, I think that's been available for a while. But the point here is now, how could this be purple? That would create a two by two. So that's got to be yellow. This has got to be purple. Now, yeah, now, oh, now we're, now we're there. Because this has got cut off. So purple is in fact blue, it is water. Yellow is orange, which is our, going to be our land for maximum colourblind effectiveness. Now that's got to get out because it can't be, um, it can't be thingy thingy. Right, this is huge. This is huge. Because remember, we said the seven, the six were the same colour. So if that's a four, these 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 all these three couldn't be orange because we know that there are three colours here that would add up to um, seventeen. So if that's four, it's those three, and they would be blue, and this would be isolated. So that isn't it's not possible for that to be four. So this has to be the four, and if that's the four. It goes with the seven and the six. There we go. Bingo. Boom. We get a load of blue things in here. We get a blue. No, blue, blue, blue doesn't have to connect with itself. So we can't do total yin yang here. Um, but we do know that's orange because we know two and eight add up to ten. Aha. Aha. Oh. <laughs> I've got a 5-9 pair looking at that square, so that's got to be a 7. Now. Well, that's interesting as well, I think. Because this 2 doesn't, doesn't attach to the... It doesn't take the 7 as its same colour. Because then, then these three squares would have to add up to nine without using a two. So they could be two, three, four, or one, two, six. They'd have to be one, three, five. And that looks like it's the reason for this given digit. Because that cannot be. Uh, this cell by Sudoku sees one, sees three, sees five. This feels deliberate, doesn't it? So these are different colour. These are a different colour. Um, Sorry, Maverick's just flying over, as you can no doubt hear. These are different colours. I'm trying to see what that means, and I'm failing. Oh, but the seven, right, hang on, hang on a moment. Yes, this is forced. Yeah, this is, ah, uh, my God, it just takes a little bit for my brain to twist into gear. So the seven here is part of a three cell sequence, because it's not in the sequence with the two in this box. But seven's quite a big number. The minimum I could add to it would be a one and a three, and that makes eleven. And the maximum I could add to the two would be a nine. So this is, that's how it must work. That's one, three, and nine into here. The seven is partnering up with the one and the three, and the two is partnering up with the nine. Oh, and there's a three here. Okay, so we get, we get some of this. Some of this is resolved. So the seven partners up with the three. So these are the same. Um, I would love to know what colour they are. Don't Oh, that's a four now by Sudoku. So that's a four, that's a one. Got to be a bit careful 
with having too many oranges along there look because that's going to create two by twos if we if we go a bit ham with the orange um, can you go ham with the orange I'm not sure doesn't sound like a very nice pop combination although a bit, a bit, a bit Hawaiian pizza-esque I suppose um, all right what about Oh, I've got one here. Okay, I'm just not doing my Sudoku now. Sorry, I'm getting. I think I'm getting discombobulated. Um, now, okay, so those three are the same color. I don't know what. I don't know what color that is. I mean, I can see how it's quite difficult for this to be if this is land this would be water and then we, then that would be water this would have to be land that would have to be water that would make this water lots of things would flow from that Or maybe actually, maybe it's better to think about it in terms of. We know this cage is divided into an eight nine pair, don't we? That that are part of. We know these two are the same color. Ah, oh right, that's vicious. Okay, these are the same color. They can't be blue. They can't be blue because what's this now? Well, this has to be land. Now, what what would we like this to be in, in its nature as land? Do we want to make it a six? If we make it a six, these three are all water and that's going to create a two by two of waterage. If, on the other hand, we'd say, oh, no, no, no this is a two, then that three, then then the don't forget the one, three and the two in this region are all going to be land then. And that's land. And that's land, but that's water, and that land is stranded because the six is always going to get in its way of getting out. So this just doesn't work. This doesn't work. That's quite tricky to see, but it doesn't work. So those are both land. Therefore, this is right. Therefore, that's to avoid a two by two. This is water. To avoid a checkerboard, that is water, which means these are land, which means this is water. This water hasn't got to the edge. It might be coming down here. Uh, oh, we were we were we were on a good track there for a moment, weren't we? And that's all. That's all gone. It's all gone cold again. Um, okay, right. So this is nine, because remember we said that it's the nine and the eight that are partners. Um, in this region so once we know that the one and the four the one and the four partner with the five and the seven uh, because five seven one and four add up to the 17 so we need to put nine here we need to put five here we need to put nine here now there is a nine in this cage at the bottom of column one these squares are no longer nine so these are five seven and eight now I've still got two more two more oranges to find in this string so right so if this was the blue if this was blue I'd get a checkerboard wouldn't I because that would be I get this pattern and that's a checkerboard in those cells which doesn't work so this has to be uh, right, so this is huge. That has to be land. Now avoid a checkerboard here makes this land. But am I not running into problems now? No, I'm not running into the same problems I had before because I can make this six, can't I? Oh, in fact, I can make it either because this isn't this isn't blue now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, so what's going on? This has to get to an edge somehow. This square is not 8. So the 8 is in one of those two. 
if that's two, these are both shaded, and this is this is C, and then the C would have to get to the boundary, so this would be a C. If this is six, all of those are C. So this is always C, is what I think I'm demonstrating here. I don't know if that's right. That feels a bit weird. Um, let me think about that again. So if this is a 2, it partners with these. Oh, that just creates a checkerboard, actually. That's the simpler way to see that. If this is a 2, both of those have to be unshaded, and that has to be green now to be the 6, and that's a checkerboard, so that doesn't work. Okay, so that, so that is six, which means all three of these must be blue. That's got to be the two. This has got to get out, so that's got to come down. This, oh, that's got to be eight, because we haven't got the second blue digit in this, this funny region. So that's got to be blue. This is now a five, seven pair. This hasn't got out. It's got to come all the way down column one, look. We've not got any circle in that in that region. I wonder if that's... Oh, we can do maths on this region uh, because we've got 13 there. So 45 minus 13 is 32, which means these are... Ah. Right, so the, not only do these digits add to 32, but we know that each each section of, of coral or water and therefore adds up to 16. Now you can't, we can't divide this six cell region into two and four then because the two region would have to be a nine seven pair and it can't be. So this region divides into a three cell region and another three cell region. Right, <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful because knowing that I can I can extrapolate from that and say how does this segment here of land or coral get to touch any other coral in the world? Well one of these must therefore be land because if both of those were water we'd have strandage. So whichever one of these is land is the final land piece in this region so those two are both water. I mean I'm not saying that's amazing but it's interesting. I know I know. Um, Four. Four is in that blue blue thingy thing. Four is there by Sudoku. Out of absolutely nowhere. Yeah, okay. I, I'm going to take that opportunity to do massive pencil marking. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now that's not seven or eight. That's not five or six. So this one's got quite a lot of high digits in again. Hmm. Okay, I was wondering if we could pull the trick of requiring it to have a one in it. But actually this time, this one is different to that one. Because in that one, this one didn't have a two in it. Whereas this one could have a two in it. Oh, we can get the parity of this digit. Yeah, okay. Um, because we know that's adding up to an even number. We've got 16. We've got, so we've got 16 there plus an even number. So we're on even. So this has got to be odd. And it's not 3 or 7. Oh, bobbins. 1, 5 or 9. Okay. Not, not terribly clever. Um, right. So there are definitely, there's definitely two odd digits in here. And two even, so the two even digits in here are six and eight, aren't they? So they are, if they were paired up, they would add up to 14. And that would require five and nine to join them in, in, the, in their little casket here, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? But if the six and the eight were separated then whatever you partnered the eight with would have to be two less than what you partnered the six with but that doesn't work because we're picking digits from one five and nine and whichever two you pick they're not two apart 
that's ridiculous i don't i don't know if that's the way you're meant to do it but that feels right doesn't it so that's got to be five nine six eight which means this square here is a one out of absolutely nowhere one one oh we're getting to the point where it looks like the one wants to go into this cage here uh one is down oh no one is right at the bottom it can't repeat within a cage that square's not an eight these squares are not six that square is not five or nine so this is six or eight um and we know don't we that okay so whatever that is partners up with a six or an eight somewhere in the box hmm. um <laughs> don't know how to do that what about don't know I think I'm getting stuck again now do we know which of these is the method of escape for column one and how can I have just looked at the clock one hour 11 minutes that has flown by it's a sign of a good puzzle three is down there look Um, five, six, nine. What do we need down here? Five, six, seven, and nine. Let's put that in. We can take out um, five, six, seven, and nine. We can take out five from the bottom row. I'm desperately looking for some sort of parity trickage here. What about three, four, six, and eight down there? Ah, that is that's interesting. Okay, so so it wasn't here. I could do parity. It's here because there is a three at the bottom of this in this cage, and it's combined with two even numbers. But we know there's an even number of odd numbers in this cage, so that is even it's not one three or five it's seven or it's not nine that's beautiful that is a ridiculous digit isn't it that is a seven that's not a seven now that is a ridiculous digit. seven look 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 seven here five here this is no longer seven so seven seven has found a home in this cage over here we're slowly working our way towards I must know the parity of this digit as well. I love I love puzzles like this. Parity is a complete um, it's a complete love of mine. Now this is even. So at this point, once we add the seven in, we're on an odd number. We need to retain that parity because it's forty-five for the box. So that's even and it's not three, which gives me the three here. This is even and it's not two or eight, so it's four or six. Um, don't know if we can tell which four right four six ah that's four or six as well so the seven oh hang on why have I got four pencil marked here is that oh yeah this is a naked single I think yeah in this column I need four six and seven and there's four and seven looking at this square so that's six that's four that's four that's seven that's really rather lovely okay so these these are five six and eight no they're not there's a six here that's total and utter rubbish that's not six these are two five and eight so these down here are one six and nine which means we know those digits, they're two and eight. Phone is buzzing at me, I'm going to ignore that. Um, mm, looks like this is going to be something like three combining with seven to add up to four and six, doesn't it? Is there anything else that works there? Can we use the eight? Uh, oh no, you can four seven three eight would also work okay that doesn't that doesn't help me uh, 
Um, hmm. I'd love to know which one of these is the way that this orange connects up. Oh, can we work this out by maths now? Ah, I haven't thought about that for a while. I probably can. Um, what was the total we were heading towards? 13. Yes, yes, we were looking for 16, weren't we? And at the moment, we've got 11. So I need to combine that with a 5. Well, that means this can't be 5 because it's not the right colour. So that's 8, that's 2, that's got to be the 5. And 8, 2 and 6 do indeed add up to the right number. So we can do it. It's surprising the way all of a sudden you can get look at look at this now 8 comes over here this is now 7 so this is a 5 6 pair these digits are 4 5 6 7 which add up to 22 we've still got more adding to do to those totals six, oh that's not 6 oh this is good hang on I think we can do Sudoku on this box. That's got to be a six. So that's quite interesting. We know the six partners up with eight, don't we? But we don't know which one of these is the eight. And we've achieved connectivity with our coral. So, okay, so we're in better shape than we were. Um, that's five, so that's not five. So that's eight or nine. Two, three, eight, and nine along here. Let's put that in to see if anything, anything gets thrown out by Sudoku. I don't believe it. Look, this is a naked. That's weird, isn't it? That's just a weirdity. That is a naked single, apparently. Two, three, eight, nine. Yeah, that's a naked single eight. That's massive as well because that gets me a nine, a five, an eight. We know these two are the same. Um, so can we disprove? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, if these, if those are um, a water, those two have to be um, coral, and that's that's created a checkerboard. So we've got to make these coral, these water. Don't make checkerboards all over the place here. So both of those are now water. Ah, this is great. This is great now. Um, now we need one and nine. The nine can, has only got one place to go. That's got to be a one. Nine comes out of these squares, as does eight. So this is a two, three pair now. But now we can get the parity of this. We can get this digit, can't we? Because we're on 22, we're on 23. We need it to add up to an odd number, so that has to be 3. 3 and 2 go in. Now that should be 26, which means we need 13 is the divider. Let's just check that. 13 and uh, 26, 19, that's right, yes. So so here we need, we need to combine. So we know this is combining with two digits uh, that add up to 9. Ooh, so there must be three and six. Oh no, hang on. No, hang on. I might be wrong about that. No, no, I'm totally wrong. I'm totally wrong. It's a four. It's four digits. Ah! Oh, what's going on? Have I messed this up then? I know these add up to... I know a 13 is the total. So, okay. No, I see. So there are two digits in here that add up to 13, and they must be a six, seven pair. So that digit... Oh, that's so clever. That is so clever. Because look, this digit is a colour. And it combines with a 6 as, as, as its colour. Now imagine this was orange. Whichever one of these was the 6 would create a 2 by 2. That's so deliberate. That's so deliberate and so brilliant. So now these squares are all, are all uh, coral. One of these is... These are one of each. I don't think we know the order. Um, look, we and we can do Sudoku. I mean, I know I resist it, but let's just do some Sudoku. 138 down here. Mm, actually, maybe not. Can we? Oh, uh, no, that's not 8, because it would repeat in the, in the cage. That's not 3. What about this one? Mm, don't know. 
Um, can we actually we might be able to restrict this digit using the power of what's in there and what's in here. Let's just check this digit. It can't be one, two, three, four. It can be five, I think. Oh, it can be six. Bother. Oh, well, that would still be interesting. Seven, eight, nine. Yes. Look, there's a five, six pair in this column. So we need two and uh, we need two and nine at the bottom. There's a two here, two here. So there must be a two in one of those squares, which means the two is going exactly there, which means these two digits now. We oh no, hang on. I was about to say something that wasn't right. I've seen another way of doing that. I was about to say these two digits have to be one apart. But what if they were nine? What if it was a nine equaling one, two, six? Ah. Oh, that's festively annoying. Um, all right, well, let's try. Maybe we try more Sudoku. One, five. Yeah. Where does five go in this column? It's got to go here. So that's a one. Okay, so these squares don't include five. Oh, we should be able to work this out now, shouldn't we? No. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Because it could be six, two with seven, one. Or it could be nine, nine equaling, equaling one, two, six. All right, so this is not one in the corner. Um... These are not six by the power of Sudoku. Oh, okay. Can we get can we get the colouring of these done then? The eight yes, it's eight and three, isn't it? Going with seven and four. Eight and three going with seven and four. I don't see how to do it. Um, I'm missing. I'm missing something now. I'm missing something. What is it? I'm missing. Let's think. Uh, can I get the pat? I can do parity again. Parity keeps coming to my rescue. Um, so I've got 19 there. That's odd. That's odd, so we're on even, so we need to stay on even, so that's six, that's beautiful. Six and five, now that's going to tell us what's going on here. We know, yeah, we know we needed 13, don't we? So we've got to take that, that as the blue, that's the land. That's fine, okay. Um, So this uh, this little lake of blue in the middle of the grid needs to get to the edge. So it's got to come down here somehow. That little lake of blue has already touched the edge. And we've got full connectivity, nearly got full full connectivity of the coral. Hmm. Okay. What about, can we deduce anything about, I don't know, uh, that's not six. It could be Sudoku now actually, couldn't it? It very well could be. One, three, five, eight, nine. Yeah, well, in fact, let's, let's, let's fully pencil mark the bottom of this column. So we need four, five, and seven in there. Yeah, naked single. Naked single. Which didn't... No, hang on, what's going on? This, this must be done. This must be done. Something's wrong in this row. The six is doing this digit. Ah. Ah. Okay, maybe it's not something that's wrong. I could just sense that that we could do. We should. We should have. It should be more resolved than it was. One, three, eight. Aha! Right. This is massive now. So this is eight. This is one. It would be quite funny. We might actually just finish off. We might finish off the puzzle here. You know. 
when I say we might, we have. We've suddenly finished off the Sudoku. But I've got absolutely no clue about how the um, how the reef is, is going to be constructed. Now, okay, let's start here because we can do maths on this, can't we? We've got 19 and 9, which is 28. So we need 14. So the 9 is going to have to partner up with two cells that add up to 5, I believe. It's the only way we can do that. So that is a strip of the same... Right, so that's this is C. Because if this was land, it would create a 2 by 2. So that is water. These two are both land. This land is not connected to anything, so it's got to come down. And now, now this has to be water, but to make this one work... We've got to have 12 and 12 adding together. This land still has to get out. So it's coming along here to meet, to meet up with its friends. This doesn't have to extend. Uh, let's... Um, ah. This... Oh, this is big. Or is it? Don't know. Oh, uh, you know, it is. It's huge. This one... You can see the digits in it add up to 18, so we're looking for 9. So this 9 sits on its own, and that's already been turned into water. So those are water, that's got to be land. Avoid a checkerboard, that's got to be water. This... Oh no, it's all connected. I was about to get excited and say that this had to come along here, but it doesn't because this can come down here. Um... What's the what's the situation for this cage? We need we need to partner up the eight with the three, don't we? So those two are the same colour. These two are the same colour. Well, that's that's it. That is absolutely beautiful because what that means is that this is a sort of plug. This stops this land coming down here and, 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 and connecting with anything, say, in box 7. We know there are some land over here. Now, or coral, I should say. Now, can the coral here connect to this coral? The answer is no, because this 4-7 pair is the same colour. Now, if it's coral, that's land. Uh, sorry, that's water, and this is stopped from coming out. And if this is water, well, it's obviously stopped from getting out. That's going to be coral, but it's still stopped from getting out. So that means that the way that this stuff here connects to the coral is along the bottom row. So all of that has got to be coral. And that's colouring the three. Good grief. So this has done it. This is going to do it all. Now avoid a checkerboard. Boom. I've not even thought about the maths down here, have I? Let me just stare at this for a second or two. Uh, well, this has still got to connect. This is because they've got. There's got to be some coral in here. What is the total? We've got eleven here, so this is thirty-four. So we're looking for seventeen's worth of coral and seventeen's worth of water. But. Oh, uh, okay. So, but, but, okay, I haven't got 17's worth of coral yet, so I've got to take that square. Now I've got 7's worth of coral. That's got to be coral to avoid a 2x2 two two of water. I mean, the only way I'm seeing this work now... Oh, no, I'm wrong. Hang on. Hang on, this is more... So I've got 7. I need 10 more. But I've got to make sure I achieve connection. So is it just, is it those? Or is there another way? That looks right to me. Then that would be water. I'd have a 9-8 pair, which would be 17. And I'd have 1, 3, 6, 5 and 2, which would be 17. Let me just, I'm just going to check this though. This is, this is classic Zeta math trickery I mean if I made both of those coral these would cut off that coral from the world I don't think that can possibly be right and I can't see another way of doing it 
I don't think there is another way of doing it. So I think what I've got to do to finish it is that and that. Now let's just take a stare. Is the blue always connected to an edge? Yes. Is the coral all orthogonally connected? <laughs> yes. Are there any two by twos in either sequence? I don't think so. I want to go with that. Is that right? No, it's not right. What have I done wrong? Does it tell me why it's wrong? No, <laughs> that's a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Just says it's wrong. Uh oh. Did you miss some rules? I don't know. Did I? What have I got wrong? Okay, we're going to have to think about this. So 1017, that, that one's right. That one, I, I'm just going through the cages now, adding them up to see whether I've got the maths wrong. I mean, would it tell me, it would tell me if the Sudoku was wrong, wouldn't it, I think? No, but why didn't it tell me that the Sudoku was wrong? It just says it's wrong. How does it know it's wrong? Or maybe it's trying to do cage logic or something. I don't know. I've got no idea. Normally, when you get the puzzle wrong, it says it says why you've got it wrong. Or may oh maybe maybe the reason I've got it wrong is the Sudoku is right. I.e., I have put the numbers one to nine once each in every row, column, three by three box. But the internal solution that the computer knows about has things in a different order. That's very possible. Um, 14, 14, that looks right. What's this one? 13, 13, that looks right. 11, 11, that looks right. 8, 8, that looks right. 14, 14, that seems sensible. Oh, this one might... No, that's fine. I didn't see the 2 for a moment. Uh, that's 11, so that's 11, so that's right. That's 16, and that's 16. I don't know. I don't know what I've got wrong. I'm just not sure. I don't even know how I'm going to tell whether I've... I mean, the problem is, I don't have a Logic Masters Germany account, so... I don't know whether you can put put your solution into Logic Masters Germany as a guest or something, and it will tell you whether it's right or wrong. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. I'm so sorry, Zetamath. I think that you're not going to see this video, my friend. Because I've got something wrong. I've got. I've got. I don't even know where to look. I don't know what I've. I don't know how to tell what I've got wrong. It felt like it felt completely logical and very beautiful and full of lo lovely logic, but somehow or other I've messed something up, and I've no idea. I've no idea where to begin looking. Normally, you know, if I got two sixes in a row or something, I could. I could investigate that, but this is a very strange situation where I've actually. I actually haven't got two sixes, have I? What what have I done wrong here? Um, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I'm going to turn off the video and do some more investigation. And if I convince myself this is the correct solution, maybe this video will see the light of day. We shall see. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments um, how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Let me interrupt to say, let me interrupt myself to say that I think this puzzle is correct now. Um, I, I checked with the tester 
uh, who'd recommended the puzzle and had put it into our software, he went back and had a look at his solution, which is not the same as mine, but I was able to spot an error in his. So I think mine is right. Um, and I'm very excited, as you might be able to tell about that. So I think the video hopefully uh, stands on its own. It can be released. And um, yeah, and that's all I wanted to say.